Imagine the joy of connecting with your loved ones, browsing the web, or even playing games using only your thoughts. For eight years since founding Neuralink, Elon Musk has been wanting to get inside our heads. We think probably in about six months we should be able to have our first Neuralink in a human. It took six months longer than that, but now Neuralink says a human volunteer has been fitted with their implant. It's designed to measure brain activity from more than 3,000 microscopic wires rooted into the brain using a custom-built robot, currently aimed at helping people with spinal injuries or motor neuron disease communicate via a computer. It's not a world first. Competitors of Neuralink have already successfully demonstrated implanted brain-computer interfaces, and there are other ways to read people's minds. In this lab at Imperial College, I'm being fitted with a headset that measures my brain waves without scalpels, even needles. So this headset is covered with an array of electrodes that are measuring the electrical activity of my brain indirectly through my skin and my skull. And it's been trained on hundreds of volunteers that are fed into an AI model over here to interpret the brain signals that correlate to motor function, the ability to move, in this case, moving my hands. So that means even a volunteer like me who's never come across this interface before can use it to play a computer game, not by actually moving my hands, just by thinking about moving my hands. The focus of this spin-out company is to help patients regain function following a stroke. And advances in AI may mean wider applications without risky surgery. This is a very exciting field because the non-invasive technology allows for many electrodes to be on the surface of the scalp, and we get information from all of them. And using machine learning, we're, we're able to extract that information in a different way. Elon Musk brings determination, endless wealth and hype to brain science. But animal and human trials bring ethical and technical hurdles that make self-driving cars and rocket science look easy. Tom Clark, Sky News.